morning everyone uh, my name is David and uh, I am getting ready to move into my van this is my my uh, Nissan NV 2500 and um, as of tomorrow tomorrow afternoon um, I move out my lease is up tomorrow and uh, I'm gonna live uh, in the van I'm gonna try to live in it for two years I, um, challenge myself and see if I could do this um, I've never lived in a van before <laughs> this is new to me um, I am a, I'm a softy I've lived in an apartment or a house my whole life and uh, I'm just uh, doing this to save some money um, I have to pay this off still um, I have some seasonal work in Ohio um, I will be back out here in uh, mid-April to early May, and um, it is February 27th today. Um, I'll leave tomorrow, and uh, I'll be back in uh, mid-April to early May, and I have seasonal work, and uh, that'll keep me busy throughout the summer, and I'll hopefully be able to save up, and uh, this year I only have time for uh, a year... Uh, a year um, like a month and a half um, to hit the road but next year I plan on doing this for about six months um, and hopefully I could survive seasonally by working in Ohio and uh, living in my van so um, yeah let me show you guys what I have here I'm gonna turn the camera around now I am new to YouTube I've never shot a YouTube video before so um, this is new to me let me see pop it hey look at that <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is show you the back. Let me show you what I've done here. These I basically took um, some installation. What's this called? Um, this is like duct insulation. Um, it's used on roofs. Um, mainly it's used to reflect sunlight. So it's good to put in your windows um, the other way around. But the way I have it, I took some cardboard, put it down right here. Need a blackout. And that fits perfectly in here. And I'm holding it with just some magnets. Um, these are 100 pound magnets I got on Amazon. I believe they came um, like eight in a pack for 15. And I got two packs of those, and those are wonderful. And this goes either way. I could put it this way in the uh, summertime to help reflect some of the sun. So basically, I just put it on there and I push these into it, like so. And they hold it. Have one on that window too and I put the insulation on it um, it's not super great insulation but it does help keep the windows um, from getting fogged and from the cold from the windows coming through okay basically I took a couple of the magnets off the uh, the window windows and I just very easily gave myself a little a tent here. I'll show you the sun coming through the, the tapestry. Um, eventually, I think I'll put a tarp up like this, and uh, that would be uh, more convenient if it rains. It's a rainy day, and I kind of want to hang outside, like on the porch. Perhaps I can call that my porch. <laughs> hey, uh, inside here, I have a. Uh, let's see. Got my lamp here. I don't think I'm going to keep this lamp. This is just uh, for now. I want to get something a little shorter. Or I might cut it and glue it. Make it a little shorter. It might be a project. Um, let's see. I have my my grill for when I go camping. Got a chair. Um, got one of them fire starters. Um, toolbox has my magnets in it for when I go magnet fishing this summer. Um... A spear, a spear coat in here. It, uh, it's sort of like an addition onto my bed. 
I am six foot six, so that'll come in handy. The reason why I had to, uh, the reason why I put my bed this way instead of this way, like everybody does, is because I am six foot six. And uh, I told myself that if I, uh, I'm going to live in my van for two years, it has to be comfortable. It can't be like camping, and it has to be like uh, being home. It is, it is my home. Um, so my bed has to be, um, I need to be able to stretch out and get real cozy. And, uh, that's why I put my bed this way and gave myself a little extension. Okay, let me take you to the front and you can see things a little better from up there. Okay, let's, let's start up here, guys. I'm not going to go through every little thing I have. Not today, at least. Um, I do have to finish um, packing and moving out. I have to drag my mattress out to the curb today. Um, I have to empty out my fridge. and uh, So we're not going to go too into detail today, but I will come back eventually, and we'll, we'll go over a little more. Um, this is my dog's bed, couch, chair, whatever he wants to call it. <laughs> I added an extension on it with my cooler and um, some cushions on top of it and he seems pretty comfortable here. Oh, there's my little Buddha. Okay well first thing I want to say about my van is um, how I insulated it. Um, you can see by my amateur work, it was not done professionally. Um, please do not use my van build as a way to build your van. Um, watch a more um, experienced van builder, um, please. <laughs> and for that purpose, I could just show you my uh, insulation board. I still have to glue this down. I have to wait until I get to drier, uh, warmer weather because uh, it was too cold. It's going to stick. Um, so I used one inch foam board um, on the ceiling too. I used one inch foam board and then I covered it with this uh, this is that um, reflective insulated wrap. I forget what it's called exactly. Um, for the walls um, I have the um, foam board and then I have I don't know what this is called. Um, this brown board right here is only like $11. It was like 11 or 12 dollars a board at uh, Home Depot, and uh, I know everybody's getting. Uh, everybody likes to put like fake wood up on their wall or wood paneling up on their walls. Um, but I didn't go that way. I did not want to spend a thousand dollars on my walls. I wanted to spend twenty dollars on my walls. So they seem to be working pretty good. I need to reglue them when I get to warmer weather. Okay, we're inside the van now. And this is my home. Let's start down here. How about that? It's a dog's bed. I hope I gave him enough room. He just had surgery, and uh, um, I hope he doesn't bump his uh, stitches on on this. I'm worried about that. I might have to sleep down there for the first week or two and let him sleep up here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, one of the great things about um, watching YouTube. Oh, you can't really see it that well. Let's see. One of the great things about watching YouTube is you get to learn from other people that are doing what you want to do. And everybody says that this is a very good battery. This is the Jackery 500. And I'm sure I'll do a video on that someday. That is how my light is running. That is how my exhaust system. Yes, that's a tin pan. <laughs> but that's how my exhaust system works. And my exhaust system, I did not put a hole in my ceiling yet. Um, I'm going to try to crack the back door and um, just stick the pipe out the back door. I'll show you that when I do that. I'm actually wondering if I could have an extension onto the exhaust pipe um, and just drop it out the bottom of the door 
right near the, um, the, the muffler exhaust. And uh, that would be very discreet, I think, if the smoke was coming out down by the uh, um, exhaust when I'm cooking. Um, maybe it'll, uh, someone won't see it. You know, maybe someone walking by won't even notice. Um, but that's that. But yeah, this is, uh, this is basically how my whole van is. Um, I built everything with, uh, the majority of everything I built was with used things I've gathered or things I've had. And uh, that tin pan was a, uh, a neighbor gave me um, a chicken that he had that was extra um, from work. And uh, I cleaned it out and I've had it for like five years now and I just decided, hey, that's perfect. That'll catch the smoke coming up and hopefully suck it out. So one time I uh, tried it out, it didn't work. Um, so I'm, I think I'm pretty happy with that so far. This is my um, my water. Got a spout on it. We'll go right into the sink here. On the bottom of the sink, I put a. Uh, it's uh, for a. It's a barrel. I don't know what you call that. Um, it's uh, supposed to be an attachment for a barrel, so you can drain the water out of it. Um, but I just uh, I, I use a, a hole saw and I. I cut a hole in the bottom of my sink and I uh, siliconed it in there and, um, well, I mean after I attached it, but, uh, okay, um, one last thing before I go today, um, the reason why I went with, uh, the Nissan NV van, um, I feel like the front looks like a truck and when you're driving by the front of it, when anyone's going by the front. It doesn't really have a uh, camper van kind of a feel to it. I don't feel like, I don't feel like someone going by will think, hey, you sleep in there. Um, so that was my, um, my thinking on that. Um, I do plan on doing some parking and I guess you call it self parking. I don't like calling it self parking though because Calling something stealth parking doesn't that make it not so stealthy? <laughs> um, so this is my not a stealth fan. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> Dave's not a stealth fan. But if you'll notice, let's see this around. When you look into it, it doesn't. It looks like a worker van almost. I have a. Uh, can't really see from the glare. I added a couple things in here to make a... I'm not trying to cover as a working van, that's just where I have to be keeping my yellow shirt. Um, where I keep my flashlight and, you know, a couple tools, a measuring tape, some bungee cords. I just try not to give out, give away that I'm um, in a camper being in here. Um, and when I do want to give it away, like say I'm sleeping in a Walmart parking lot, or if I stop on the side of the highway somewhere, um, I'm gonna put some of that uh, reflective um, insulation foil over the window here, over the front window, and then it will. Uh, if somebody drives by at that point, they'll say, "Oh, okay, someone's sleeping in there." Um, so basically, I have this set up so um, when I want it to look like a camper van, it will, um, and when I don't want it looking like a camper van, when I'm parking places that. Uh, it might draw a problem or cause a problem. Um, then I will appear as just a, a regular van parking in a parking lot. And oh, well, that's what I hope at least. Um, we'll see what happens though. <laughs>